brothers and soil sisters. Welcome back to another episode of What's in Our Freeze Dryer. Y'all, you ever get sick and tired of being sick and tired of wasting something? Yeah, that's us. We are sick and tired of wasting milk. I mean, we'll waste a half a gallon, half of a half a gallon, whatever. But I don't want to waste it anymore. So, how about we freeze dry some milk and we're going to reconstitute it and see what it tastes like. Is it worth it? Is it doable? So, let's just freeze dry some milk. What I did was, I put my trays, I brought it out in the breezeway. We have extra um, refrigerator and a deep freezer out here. So, I put my trays in first because you already know I was going to make a mess if I had to carry those trays out. So, I brought my trays out and I put them in the freezer where they would be level and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour my milk directly in the trays so we're going to see how much we can get in two trays no in four trays without making a mess that looks good let me see I'm going to move the camera around because I have three trays in here and I have one in the deep freezer so let me see Without spilling it I had to carefully pour I had to pour one tray out to pour it but I got three trays I have one back here one here and one on top so I'm gonna let these sit and probably a good 24 hours and freeze good and then we'll check it out before we put it in the freeze dryer I might be a little excited about freeze drying this milk so it's only been in here a couple hours, but I'm ready to put it in the freeze dryer. So let's get it started. All right, fam. So here we have four trays of milk. It's not completely frozen, as you can see, but it's frozen enough for me because, you know, I'm like a kid in a candy store. I'm just anxious. So it froze good enough for me to be able to move them around. This is one and a half gallons of milk. So this is a medium freeze dryer from Harvest Right. The medium trays, all four trays together will hold one and a half gallons. So it's semi-frozen, it's frozen enough for me. So let's get these things in the freeze dryer. All right, so it's telling me to, um, Low trays, close drain valve, my oil look good. I, I dump my um, drain bucket. So remember I always say to empty your bucket after each load. That way you don't have any mistakes of overflows. Alright. This stuff is melting away. Look, I made a mess. Let me clean that up right now. Make sure we get a proper seal. Alright. So I close my drain valve. It continues and it's good to go. So 
So we'll check back in a couple hours, see how this thing doing. Right now it's freezing. All right, soil fam. So our milk is complete. So I'm gonna hit cancel. So what I did is because this thing was gonna finish at um, like one, two o'clock in the morning and I didn't wanna deal with it in the middle of the night, I set my extra dry time till early in the morning when I felt like dealing with it. So that's the easiest way I could think of to not have my milk sitting in the freeze dryer and it not running. I just put extra dry time, like 10 hours, so we can get some sleep through the night. So now it's complete and um, I hit the cancel and it's been about 35 hours. So, and that's with an extra 10 hours or, or more of extra dry time. So, I'm gonna go ahead and open my um, drain valve. Um, I wanted to defrost. It say keep drain valve open, remove product, close tray, close door. So we have a warm and light milk. <laughs> oh, look at that! Got a bubble in there. So we are not milk drinkers here, <laughs> but. We do cook with milk, and sometimes my husband um, may eat cereal, but we waste a lot of milk because we are not milk drinkers. So, all right, so we're gonna close this thing and let it defrost. Hit continue. It'll take two hours to defrost. So let's check out our milk. All right, soil fam. So what we have here is our milk. Doesn't look like milk, but it's milk. So I think I'm gonna put it in this jar, in this container. That way when we need it, we have it. So let's see how we can get this done without wasting our milk. Oh, it come out pretty easy, so. It's nice and fluffy. I don't know if that means anything, but as long as we're not wasting milk, it means a whole lot to me. So this is, um, like I was saying earlier, this is one and a half gallons of milk between the four trays. Yeah, I'm being like super careful, y'all, because this stuff is so light. And I don't want to waste it like too much of it. I'm sure I'm gonna spill some of it, but. So I'm hoping I can get all four trays in this one canister. I mean, I don't know if anybody wastes milk like we do, but of course it can always go out in the garden or you can find something to do with outdated or spoiled milk, but yeah. we got other things that can go in the garden. So, it's a huge blessing to be able to freeze dry our milk. Even if I have to do a gallon every two or three months, it, I mean, well, one and a half gallons, every two or three months or six months or so is well worth it because 
we usually just throw it away. And when we need milk, we buy more, which is a waste. So definitely don't want to waste any more. So it'll break down to be smaller. Let me get a spoon. See how much I can fit in here. Not too bad, not too bad. So let's put another tree in here. Right? And then we're going to reconstitute some. The bad part is I can't drink it because I do not like milk at all, the taste of milk, so I will reconstitute it to see what it looked like and how much water we need to add to it. It's so fluffy, but it up. I'm gonna put a um, moisture pack in here. <clears throat> I'm going to, um, this is two trays of milk. I have two trays left, so I am gonna throw a moisture absorber in here just to keep it fresh. powdered milk. So let's reconstitute a little bit of milk and see. And so we reconstituted some milk which looked like milk like I said. I don't drink milk. My husband doesn't either. <laughs> but it looked like milk so I'm going to count that as a go. You can also put your um, freeze dried milk in a Mylar bag. You know, we discuss these quite often. I do use them. But because we'll be using these, you know, when we cook in or if my husband drinking, I mean, uh, eating cereal, he can just make, reconstitute some milk. It's just powdered milk. So this jar, I am going to um, the um, mason jar here. I am going to seal with the jar sealer that we got from a subscriber. So let's check this thing out together, see if we can figure this out. I think it's pretty simple. So it comes with, huh, even the opener, man. So, it comes with two different sizes, a wide mouth and a regular. So we know we're not sealing a regular jar. We are sealing a wide mouth. So I do have a um, moisture package in both canisters. It comes with the little instruction kit. And it says how to use. So, oh, let me see some. 
Do I not need the ring? I don't. So I don't need the ring. Okay. So it says cover mason jar. Jar sealer fully pressed on edge. So put my jar sealer. Let me move this one over. Down. Insert one of the holes, one end of the hose port into the sealer. And it comes with extra <clears throat> little doohickeys. So one end goes in the sealer. And the other end is the pump. Which I have to open to get. Okay, that's gonna make them easy to get out. Alright. So the other end goes here. Okay. Um it said handheld pump on the sealer port and then pull vacuum 10 to 30 times. Okay, so I'm gonna pull it one. The silicone holes cannot suit your food. Okay, so we not you. You can use this with a food saver too, but this is not bad. So now let me see. Insert, and that's it, y'all. So let me take this off. So I am gonna put it all back. But let's see. If our jar is sealed, it's sealed. So, I'm gonna write on the top of this that this is milk. This is whole milk. And I'm gonna write, Alexa, what is today's date? It's Thursday, September 29th. 9, 29, 22. whole milk. There we have it. So y'all I think this is another win in the books. Freeze dried milk. I am, we are so sick of wasting milk around here. I mean my husband may not notice as much as I do because I do majority of the cooking but we waste a lot of milk because we don't drink it. So, I think this is an excellent, excellent addition to our freeze dried pantry. 25 years of preserving. Awesome. So, you know what time it is? What? is in our freeze dryer next. What goes in the freeze dryer next? That's our next mission. So, with that being said, I'd like to thank you for watching. Don't forget to drink your milk. Like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, peace.